Today I'm going to introduce you to our southern breakfast delicacy, toad in the hole. <laughs> yep, toad in the hole. I don't know why it's called toad in the hole. You're using an egg, shouldn't it be chicken in the hole? But anyway, so obviously the first thing you have to have is a hole. So now I'm going to put a hole in a piece of toast. That was tough, wasn't it? Now you put some butter in a frying pan. Then you put your bread in the frying pan. Then your toad, looks like an egg to me. And now the toad in the hole is almost complete. And to make it, as the Sanchez family in New York would say, perfect, you'd add a slice of cheese and bam, you're done. Hi there, my name's Avi and today we're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We're gonna start with, you guessed it, toast. We're gonna toast some bread, some good time now. We're gonna use some peanut butter. We don't have any jelly and it's shelter in place, so we're gonna go with some strawberries. Take our strawberries and put it over the peanut butter side. All right. We have our strawberries on our peanut butter. We have the other piece of toast. And now, you have a semi peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hi friends, it's Jason. Um, I, I'm here with a recipe. If you're not very good at cooking like me, but you like to eat good food like me, I have just the right recipe for you. It's like a grilled cheese sandwich, except there's also a little bit of cheese on the outside. It's really good. I got it from YouTube. Here are the ingredients. Bread, butter, shredded cheese, sliced cheese. First, I think you're supposed to heat the pan. Um, so I'm gonna put in some butter. Exciting. Once the butter is melted-ish, you put your bread slices on and slosh the bottoms with butter. I have sliced cheese here, so what I do with this sliced cheese is um, I put it on the bread. I'm gonna melt this cheese real quick by giving it a flip over. And now the cheese is melted. And so I just put it on my other piece of bread. What I'm going to simply do now is add some shredded cheese to one side, like so. And then, we do my secret technique. Get ready for it. Waza! And while that cooks, I'm going to put cheese on the other side, like so. And now I think it should be cooked by now, so I'm gonna flip it over again. Ooh, so this cheese is very nice. If I take a spoon and I rub it, oh shoot. Oh my God. <laughs> if I take a spoon, it'll sound like this. Now I'm gonna eat it. Exquisite. Millie, you wanna try? Yes, I do. Hi, welcome to Roma's Kitchen. Today we're gonna be making avocado toast. The first step is to slice the avocado. Next, we have to cut the avocado into slices. Then you have to take a spoon and scoop out all the slices. To save time, I already toasted the slices of bread and put a little bit of butter on it. A few pinches of salt, a little bit of cilantro, and a few drops of lime. And you mix everything with a spoon. <laughs> Next, you transfer your avocado slices onto your slice of toast. Oh, <laughs> Ta-da! 
now your avocado toast is ready to 